Okay, hey guys, Steve Harmon here again, SynthroTech.com. I'm showcasing the gate today and how I'm mixing its trigger outputs in with the trigger outputs of my SEQ-1 so that I can really vary up my drum sounds here. So it gives me a lot of strange and fun and also really reliable divisions out of the gate from Circuit Abbey. And as I'm mixing that into these two VCAs here, it's allowing me to input um, extra triggers um, than what my drum SEQ-1 is normally doing. So anyway, it's a lot of fun. I'm really able to add some funkier stuff. So I'm going to start off real basic here um, and start turning down, turn, turn down some drums and so we can hear what's going on. Okay, let's first look at the bass drum. Um, this is my first drum here and I'm just isolating that by itself so we can kind of see how the gate is going to come in and start adding some more, um, some more beats here. So uh, let me add in what the gate's doing now. So it's kind of low, I hope you can hear it. Now I can also speed that up over here in my peg. And this is obviously too crazy, especially for a bass drum. Let's bring in my, um, my tom sound. Okay, this is just from my SEQ1 now. It's only hitting on two, three, and four. So let me now add in what the gate's doing here. And again, I can speed that up here. But it's still staying in time. Just adding, just giving me new triggers. So let's turn some other uh, drums up here to see what it sounds like. Always change the divisions again now. Which is going to make this clock divider process slower. Let's change now the kind of division it's going to be doing uh, to the integer mode. Great for fills. Um, Let's move on to like the binary mode. And I can also take out my SEQ1 so it's just the gate. Let's bring that back in. It allows me to mix it in very quickly here. Okay, let's change it now to evens. Let's my tempo a little bit. You can get a lot of drums in here. I got four drums, you can get a lot more. Oh, by the way, we also are using my DS8 drum clones that are being made into modular versions soon. So I can mix out again the gate if I want to get back to my normal sound. But I kind of like throwing in some stuff. So I can really change up what I'm doing rhythm-wise and super fast. So the gate has a lot of options there. Um, it also allows you to use CV uh, to go through um, the different divisions, or no, excuse me, the CV is the divider. It just moves through the steps according to CV. Really great product. Um, it takes triggers. I'm using triggers right now. The gates hold open longer, so it actually kind of doesn't do what I want to do, so I'm so glad this thing takes triggers. Um, awesome for my drums. Super stoked. Check it out.